Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Sun by Lois Lowry is the fourth and final book in Lois Lowry's The Giver Quartet. It follows The Giver, Gathering Blue, and Messenger and ties together the stories from the previous books. Sun is centered around Claire, a young woman who was a birth mother in the same dystopian society as The Giver's protagonist, Jonas. The novel explores themes of motherhood, identity, and the search for belonging, ultimately weaving together the fates of characters from across the series. Characters Claire, the protagonist of Sun A former birth mother who embarks on a quest to find her son. Gabriel, Claire's son, who was cared for by Jonas in The Giver. Jonas, the protagonist of The Giver, now grown and living in a new community. Ino, a man who helps Claire during her time in the Cliff Village. Trademaster, a sinister figure representing the personification of evil, similar to his role in Messenger. Alice, a midwife in the Cliff Village who becomes a maternal figure to Claire. Kira, the protagonist from Gathering Blue and Jonas's eventual partner. Book Summary Before Sun begins in the same community introduced in The Giver, focusing on Claire, a young woman who has been assigned the role of birth mother. At 14, Claire gives birth to a son, number 36, but is not allowed to keep him or even see him. However, a delivery complication during the birthing process results in her being reassigned to work in the fish hatchery. Despite her new role, Claire becomes obsessed with finding her son, who is being raised in the community's nurturing center. She secretly visits him and becomes emotionally attached, although she is careful not to reveal her true feelings. When Jonas flees the community with Gabriel, Claire also leaves, though she does so accidentally. The escape results in Claire being washed ashore in a distant, isolated village. She suffers from amnesia and must rebuild her life, all while retaining a vague sense of having lost something important, her son. Between. In this part, Claire lives in the Cliff Village, a small, remote settlement surrounded by mountains and the sea. The villagers find Claire and nurse her back to health, but she has lost her memory. Over time, she remembers that she had a child, though she cannot recall the details. Determined to regain her memories and find her son, Claire meets Einar, a man who had tried to leave the village years ago but was severely injured by the trademaster. Einar helps Claire train physically and mentally for the grueling climb over the mountain to find her son. Despite the dangers and Ino's warnings about the trademaster, Claire persists in her training. Beyond. Claire finally escapes the cliff village and makes the dangerous journey across the mountain. After enduring many hardships, she reaches a town where she learns about the fates of Jonas and Gabriel, who are living in a new community where Jonas is the leader. However, before she can reunite with Gabriel, Claire encounters the trademaster, who demands a trade. To see her son again, Claire must trade her youth. She agrees, and the trade master transforms her into an old woman. Gabriel, now a teenager, feels an unexplained connection to Claire, though he does not know she is his mother. He eventually learns of Claire's sacrifice and, guided by Jonas, confronts the trade master. Gabriel uses his unique ability, inherited from his mother, to vanquish the trade master, thus breaking his power. Claire and Gabriel are finally reunited, though Claire remains aged from her trade. The novel concludes with the hope that Gabriel's generation will grow up free from the dark influences that plagued the previous ones. Themes Motherhood and Sacrifice Sun places a strong emphasis on the bond between mother and child. Claire's entire journey is motivated by her love for Gabriel, and her willingness to sacrifice everything, including her youth to find him highlights the theme of maternal sacrifice. This theme also underscores the idea of unconditional love and the lengths to which a mother will go to protect and be with her child. Identity and self-discovery. Claire's journey is not just a physical quest to find her son but also a path of self-discovery. Stripped of her memory and former life, Claire must rediscover who she is and what she values most. The novel explores how identity is shaped by experiences, choices, and relationships, 
particularly the relationship between parent and child. The nature of evil. The trade master serves as the embodiment of evil, a figure who preys on human weakness and desire. His ability to trade intangible qualities, such as youth or kindness, for physical or material gains reflects the novel's exploration of moral corruption and the consequences of making unethical choices. The defeat of the trade master by Gabriel symbolizes the triumph of good over evil and the power of innate goodness. The power of memory. Memory plays a crucial role in Sun, as it does in the other books of the quartet. Claire's lost memories drive much of the plot, and her gradual recovery of them is central to her quest. The novel suggests that memory is essential to identity and that remembering one's past is key to understanding one's present and future. Community and Connection Like the other books in the quartet, Sun examines the importance of community. The contrasting communities, Claire's original dystopian society, the isolated cliff village, and the more open and loving community where Jonas and Gabriel live, highlight different approaches to social organization and the impact they have on individuals. The novel suggests that a supportive community is essential for personal growth and happiness. Analysis Narrative Structure The novel is divided into three parts, before, between, and beyond, which correspond to Claire's journey from her original community, through her time in the Cliff Village, to her ultimate reunion with her son. This structure emphasizes the stages of Claire's physical and emotional journey. Character Development Claire's development is central to the story. She transforms from a passive young girl into a determined, strong-willed woman who overcomes tremendous obstacles. Her growth is mirrored by Gabriel's maturation, as he moves from being a helpless infant to a young man capable of confronting and defeating the embodiment of evil. Symbolism The trade master represents the corrupting influence of evil and the dangers of making morally questionable choices. Claire's journey over the mountain symbolizes the arduous path of self-discovery and the lengths to which a parent will go for their child. The idea of trading in the novel also serves as a metaphor for the compromises people make, sometimes at great personal cost. Moral and Ethical Critique The novel critiques societies that dehumanize individuals by assigning them roles based on utility, as seen in Claire's role as a birth mother. It also explores the dangers of moral compromise and the importance of holding on to one's values and integrity. Connections to other works Sun ties together the narratives of The Giver, Gathering Blue, and Messenger, providing closure to the characters and themes introduced in those books. The interconnectedness of the stories highlights the themes of memory, identity, and the struggle between good and evil that run throughout the quartet. Conclusion Sun by Lois Lowry serves as a powerful conclusion to the Giver Quartet, bringing together the threads of the previous novels into a cohesive and satisfying resolution. The novel explores deep and complex themes such as motherhood, identity, sacrifice, and the nature of evil, all through the lens of Claire's quest to find her son. Claire's journey is both a physical and emotional one, taking her from a life of passive acceptance in a dystopian society to an active role in shaping her own destiny and that of her son. The novel emphasizes the power of love and sacrifice, particularly in the context of the parent-child relationship. Claire's willingness to give up her youth to be reunited with Gabriel highlights the theme of maternal devotion and the lengths to which a mother will go for her child. Gabriel's ultimate defeat of the trade master signifies the triumph of good over evil, a recurring theme in Lowry's work. Through its exploration of memory, identity, and community, Sun offers a thought-provoking reflection on the human condition and the importance of connections, both personal and communal. The novel's conclusion leaves readers with a sense of hope, suggesting that despite the challenges and sacrifices required, it is possible to create a better world where love and goodness prevail. In summary, Sun is a fitting and emotional end to the Giver Quartet, bringing closure to the stories of its characters while offering timeless lessons about the nature of humanity. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. 
and leave your comments. See you in next book.